Uh, well, <clears throat> see, there's this pig. Piggy is our most interactive spotlight story. We wanted a project where we can expand on what it means to have an interactive story. This is basically the mission behind the Piggy project. Piggy is about a jogging pig who is tempted by a cake. And he doesn't want to eat the cake while you're looking at him. Of course, the problem is you're always looking at him. We wanted the viewer to feel like they had their own role in the piece and Piggy was interacting with them. How do you actually create interactivity? How do you write those paths? How do you figure out all the different elements that go into all the different choices an audience member can make? At any moment in the story, there might be several different animations that we might have to trigger depending on where the, the viewer is looking. Even though it seems like such a, a simple story, the amount of logic that you have to account for what's on screen, is the cake visible, should we play this other animation, all based on what, what the user is looking at. The trigger system is something that triggers certain action based on where you're looking. The other way that was super important is that we needed to create eye tracking. Piggy looks at you. And when you're wearing your VR headset, you can move around the room, and no matter where you go, he's looking at you. There's kind of an intimate relationship forming because the character is reacting to what you do. So let's just get another take. Vom Wasser haben wir es gelernt, vom Wasser. The music is one of my favorite things. Scott Stafford, in his genius, chose to make the soundtrack of Piggy be a Schubert leader song. When I saw him jogging, dun, 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 I just kept hearing this song in my head. We recorded Andy Truitt from the San Francisco Opera, singing just how it should be, but we turned the lyrics a little bit. It starts off using the traditional stanza, and then it goes from saying, oh, I love roaming in the wilderness, to being like, oh, cake, my delight, you know, just literally putting words to what we're seeing on the screen. Honestly, if it wasn't so silly, you could buy that it was written in like 1815 or something. <laughs> I think there's a lot to explore about how far you can go with pre-authored animation being interactive and how aware characters can be of the audience. This is a different experience. This is a, more of a one-on-one -on -one experience. Piggy not only evolved the technology, but also just our understanding of how you would feel like if we did actually put you, the viewer, as part of this conversation with the characters, with the story. Mm. Mm.